Many people have avoided traveling during the pandemic for obvious reasons, but we know some of you are probably a little stir crazy and maybe looking forward to traveling for the holidays. And Trooper Steve is here now with some tips to get those trips planned. Absolutely. So if you're ready to get out of town for the holidays this year, experts are saying right now is actually the time to book your flights. Hopper released its annual holiday travel guidance report, which stated that mid-September is when it's expecting to see the lowest prices for the holiday travel. So take a note on that. The company suggested that if you're ready to book, you should take advantages of the cheapest fares right now. Experts are anticipating about 1.9 million travelers for Thanksgiving and about 2 million travelers each day for Christmas. That's double last year's travelers, although not just quite the amount of levels that we saw in 2019. So we're slowly getting there. Costs will still be pretty high, like usual, around the holiday dates themselves. For example, Thanksgiving. You're looking at about $300 for a round trip ticket if you're traveling the week of Thanksgiving. Hopper said the cheapest time to depart will be Monday, November 22nd, adding that the most expensive day to return will be Sunday, November 28th. The company suggests buying tickets for Thanksgiving travel no later, here it is, than Halloween in order to get the best prices. And of course, around Christmas, more like $430 per person for a round trip ticket. If you are traveling the week of Christmas, Hopper said the cheapest day to fly will be Tuesday, December 21st, while Sunday, December 26th, is likely to be the most expensive day for the return travels. The company suggested buying tickets for Christmas travel no later, well, than Thanksgiving. So what are your plans going to be? We want to know and find all your information. So find the story over at clickorlando.com slash news six at nine, and then take the poll at the very dot bottom of the website there. Or if you're a news six insider, hey, go ahead and leave us a comment.